Hmm? Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Futaba, what are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, he's, he's gonna confront us, isn't he? The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <sighs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. What a creepy looking face. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. We're home! Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain? Is it something that you can't explain? If this keeps up, Futaba's... I'll explain everything. You will, huh? I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Was a... well... a change of heart triggered in you? <laughs> How about it? died I there was n no exit I was trapped in in a labyrinth of my heart I knew I had to leave it but I, I couldn't do it 
by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. Oh my gosh, you're such a good guy, Sojiro. I've got tears in my eyes right now, guys. I'm so glad he listens. Oh my god, you're a good guy. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> Seriously? Guys, I was so... Uh, okay, so I forgot. I know this is crazy, but I completely forgot that we had changed Futaba's heart and that's why she had a calling card. I thought this was a calling card for someone else and then he would have drawn the conclusion that she was a phantom thief, which would have been like way worse than what this is. This is so much better than what I had in my mind. I'm... So Whoa, I forgot. I can't believe I forgot we changed her heart. But I, like, I knew that, but I forgot that's why she would have a card on her. I thought this was, oh, it makes, and it also makes more sense why she had an extra one on hand. Because I was like, why would she be carrying around, like, you know, uh, Okumura's, like, you know, thing. Like, but the fact that she has one for herself, that makes so much more sense. Whew. Okaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When did you notice? When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere. And even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought, your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro... I think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that... She might soon die in an odd way. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Is it if I'm a phantom thief? Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. These scandals always seem to find their way around you. What do you have to say? Sorry for keeping quiet. I'm not gonna lie to him. These people are called criminals by the general public. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Oh, he didn't figure that out? Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? So, he's not connected with the Phantom Thieves, but is one himself? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I'm a Phantom Thief. Are you serious? I'm not gonna lie. You really are a Phantom Thief? 
Oh, for crying out loud. Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way Mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. And the outcome of that was me spending my retirement here. Also, the reason I took custody of you was me trying to selfishly atone for what happened to Wakaba. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And in the end, I'm the one being consoled. <laughs> I'm hopeless. And a laughingstock, aren't I? Just... You're such a good guy, Sojiro. I was... You know, it's... Honestly, you're the one that's right. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry we had to lie about everything. I've been constantly lying to you all the time when you ask me, like, you're not getting involved in any stuff, and, it, and I'm always lying, so... I'm sorry. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault! <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. What do you mean? Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba... Now I get it. ...then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, alright? The thing is, is, he doesn't quite know what we can do. But he's right. We're done talking about this. Let's eat. I'm so hungry because I raised my voice so much. At least we avoided the worst-case scenario of being reported arbitrarily. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Ugh, I'm tired. I'm so glad we don't have to lie to him anymore. What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding! Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely won't be get receiving these messages if Akio was not okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yes, she was killed by mental shutdown. The same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second, though. Didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who would do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? Government official. Ain't you letting your imagination run a bit wild? But it would make sense. Wait a sec! If you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him, too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? 
We're gonna win, no matter what. Don't feel hey. bad. It's not. Listen. It's, nice. it's seriously not your fault. It really isn't. I'm not blaming you at all for keeping it. It's oh, late already. Uh, is Sojuro still awake? This is kind of awkward. Go home or he'll worry. I'm gonna go home. Night. I don't... I don't want Sojiro to worry. Hey! Let's call it a day and go to bed. I really don't want Sojiro to worry. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. Whoa! <laughs> and considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. That's insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. Yep. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? I'm sorry. This isn't about me. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. Please don't worry yourself anymore. It's making me feel bad. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I promise. Oh, please believe in me. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. I feel terrible. I, I didn't mind all the trouble boring down on us. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, great! I can't believe how big the bounty is! We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves. Akechi suggested they go to the school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There have been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. But 30 million yen, man. Let me dream a little. This is all to... push us into... I, I, I am more and more convinced with everything that's going on. So, yo, you see the news? I had braced myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure we're gonna get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good, though. Let's talk more in person. We're wanted now. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. 
Yep. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mechad. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. I 100% would say that's the case. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. No, it's not your fault. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Seriously? Hey. What do you think? How did we lose? What did we do wrong? They baited us. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging on to fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves. But we lost sight of our original cause. I appreciate you chiming in, but this isn't your fault. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it. I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. Please don't destroy anything. Of course I want to do something about this. Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. It's true. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hell no. Hey. Let's turn the tables. Yeah. Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. That's the same as dumping our aesthetics again, because we only care about our hides. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this! Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. I guess the thing is, we need to figure out who we're up against and how to set the trap. Yo. Hey, it's me. Uh... Um, about me yelling earlier. Being framed and all that added bounty. 
It all felt like such bullshit. I've lost it, and I'm sorry. I know how you feel. Huh? Me too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. <sighs> Maybe I haven't changed at all since the time we went up against Kamashita. I wanted to be a fan of Thief because I thought it could... I thought even someone like me could become a hero. It made me so happy to be dependent on. I guess it all went straight to my head. And again. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. Can't even joke about it. You can still change. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Alright. Comment section. If you've been really upset with me for getting really harsh on Ryuji up until now, I swear to you, if Ryuji makes efforts from this point on, I will no longer chastise him constantly, okay? But he has to, like, start an effort right now. And then I, I promise I will, I will let all my grudges be gone with him. I'm not gonna forget what he did. But I'm gonna not drag it on. Thanks, Akio. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya! <sighs> you really need to apologize to Morgana, though. Like, for real. I got a message from Akechi-kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There may- there must be a calculated reason for this too. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're gonna overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Okay. We can't let it end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. Are you... Yeah. Hey! Just make me go to sleep. That's fine. Nice! We're not done quite yet. This is just the beginning. Off to bed. You know what? I haven't been to the Velvet Room in a long time. Deleted by admin. Yo, isn't admin sus as <laughs> the penalty? Oh. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. Shido, huh? I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far.
But she has nothing to do with that. The bounty was done by, um, the SIU director, wasn't it? Oh, I can't, it's, it's too far back up. That was done by the SIU director and whoever he's cooperating with, not by Sai. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Oh, Makoto, I'm sorry. Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up, and an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? I just, I, I, I can't buy it for some reason. I'm trying to. I'm trying to suspend my disbelief, but there's no one else who could be so perfectly the criminal at this point. <sighs> no. 
No, I just, I, I feel, I feel like he's, he's saying all of this to try and make us agree to all of this. True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai San's heart? We will. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Is this, like, the anniversary of her father's death or something? Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? This is about her sister. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Curious what she's gonna say here. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although. His attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's not all. Hmm? <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Perhaps I'm overthinking things. What is going on? Hey! You need to keep your focus. What was that? It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? Justice wins in the end. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. 
When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Yes! Yes! I'm glad we're finally bringing this up! Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Sai is slowly starting to accept the truth. She is definitely more- Did we really not change her heart at all? Because she said that we failed, right? She said we failed at changing her heart. All right. But she seems way more reasonable now. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. Okay, so instead of like saying that a heart, her heart was triggered, maybe she doesn't even know. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. Uh... A girl shouldn't say things like that! <laughs> right? You tell her too! What else can you dig up? Well... Like her history with men. You're phantom thieves! Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. happened earlier too at the at the school didn't it like at the the faculty room when i was like oh my gosh don't leave the pictures laying there what what was that is it like just like a memory that i like dissolved or something like Something I said there? What was he saying? He said, I'll have to roll back the tape to listen to it. He said something about my voice. And he's like, need something to look into. I don't, okay, I don't remember. 